again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we've developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NHL action for December 19th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these games set to tip off. Um, we'll take a look at four of them. The first one we want to look at is Detroit and Washington. Detroit comes in ice cold down. You can see they have lost their last four games and two and four over their last six games. Uh, Washington is coming in burning hot down. They are five and one over the last six. They are coming off of a loss, two to one to Dallas. The score predictor has Washington by a four to three margin with confidence in prediction of about 41%. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that um, Washington, the curve here on an upward trend up to plus 23 and you notice the downward trend up and downward trend for Detroit they are now at plus 12. And if we take a look here at the volatility oscillator the stability factor you can see that and once it comes up there we go we can see that both teams are pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So this is kind of important again it's pretty close to, well not complete upward trend but upward trend overall for Detroit and for Washington plus 10 to plus 8. Take a look at the head-to-head -head matchups. You can see that uh, this season so far, three games between the two teams, and Washington has won two of the three. Detroit winning the last one, three to one at home. And this one here, I like Washington at home by a goal, perhaps two. But I'm leaning more towards a one-goal game, but I would pass on the over/under. Uh, Florida at Boston. Boston comes into play, average down. They're coming off of a loss, and they are three and three over their last six. But they are. Um, first in the Atlantic Division, and the Panthers are fifth in the division. They are ice cold down there, coming off of a loss and two and four over the last six. You take a look at the over under, you can see with the two teams combined, uh, both actually involved in games over the line four of the last six. On the power ranks indicator, Boston has been pretty consistent near the top all year, right? Um, their low point was plus 26, and that was just a few days ago, and they are now back up to plus 30. While Florida has been up and down, and they're now sitting at plus 17. The score predictor has Boston by a 4 to 1 score with confidence in prediction of about 61%. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, Boston is very stable at plus 12, while Florida is sitting at plus 3. Um, in the end, here, I do believe that this is a game for Boston. I don't see much of a chance for Florida on the road, so I like Boston by two goals in a game going over the line. Okay, the next one we want to take a look at here is we go down through the games for December 19th. New York Islanders and the Colorado Avalanche. You notice here that both teams are struggling, both coming in ice cold down. Um, the Islanders are coming off of two straight losses, and they are 2-4 and four with their last six, while Colorado is also coming off of a loss 4-2 to two to Buffalo, and they are also 2-4 and four over their last six. Take a look at the over-under. Both teams are trending in games over the line in four of their last six contests. Um, the power ranks indicator shows that Colorado is coming off of a big dip. You see they dipped considerably from December 3rd down to the 9th, and they remain stable for a couple of days. Now they're on the upward trend, uh, and they're at plus 18, while the Islanders are sitting at plus 17. The score predictor has Colorado by a 3 2 score, but only 44% level of confidence in the prediction. Let's take a look at the head to head matchups. Uh, for the season, they only met one time before. The Islanders won in a high scoring game at home 5 4 back on October the 29th, and they won that as a home underdog. The volatility oscillator shows both teams just moderately stable at plus 3, and you can see the up and downward trend for both teams. Um, the Islanders were at plus four back on November 26th, while uh, Colorado was at plus four, and they're back down to plus three. So let's take a look here at the overall uh, prediction for this contest. Well, in the end, I think this is going to be a Colorado victory at home. This could even go into overtime. I think these two teams are that closely matched. Colorado in overtime, but pass on the over-under. The last one we want to look at, which is the game of the day, is Buffalo at Vegas. You see, Buffalo is coming in burning hot. They are winners of their last two and four of their last six. Their last game was 4-2 to two over Colorado. And if you take a look at Vegas, they are 
are also 4-2 over the last six, and they're coming off of a 4-1 win over Chicago. The score predictor has Vegas by a 4-3 margin with 71% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at our power ranks indicator, it's not a big surprise uh, considering that Vegas is the top record in the Western Conference and Buffalo is just kind of middle of the pack in their division. That Vegas is at the top at plus 28. Well, Buffalo is quite a bit lower there, sitting now at plus 11. So let's take a look at the uh, uh, the over-under. Uh, in uh, five of the last six games, Buffalo has been over the line, while Vegas has been over four of their last six. We take a look at the volatility oscillator. Both teams have been very stable, plus 12 for Vegas and plus 10 for Buffalo. And the upward trend, you can see that the line chart for Buffalo is a continued straight upward trend throughout most of this graph. Um, the head-to-head, -head, you can see here that uh, back on November 10th, it was 7-4. to four, And that was on the road with a favorite of 1.64 to 2.45. So you see that one? Okay, good. And so in the end, I think this is Vegas by two in a high score and one going over the line. Okay, good. You understand all that? Great. So there you have it. Um, hope you enjoy. Happy betting and see you next time.